I got clearance from the game developers and I gave them some sample screenshots of things that I found out of bounds. I'm going to take you on a journey with me to showcase what I found. Buckle up. We're going to start with the main menu. <laughs> so, uh, it's interesting. Uh, it's a 3D scene like we usually figure for most of these games. Uh, but also, it's just a standalone stage by itself. You cannot get rid of the menu itself. I tried. Let's get into the rest of the game, shall we? Also, this intro is a video file. It's not a 3D scene to hack, so we're just going to skip it. If you want to see what this is, it's in my first playthrough. So as you exit this, as soon as that pop happens, when he pops up, the player model that it was showing as you climb out of the guitar case just dis disappears. Uh, while I'm standing here, I can actually go into camera mode and back off. And normally our character would be standing right there. So I just toggled player visibility and it's not the, the player model itself unloads and is gone from the game as soon as it hits that hitch as you're popping out of the guitar case. So there's no way for us to like see fret in the situations but either way the next thing i'm going to do is with how dark it is in here <laughs> i am going to assign a independent light up from the game to the camera we're going to bring fret along with us to some places and go from there so let me let me do that real quick good so now if I go back to Fret, he has a camera or a, a light attached to him that shines a beam through as much of the level as possible. You can see everything all the time, and it's great. Uh, one of the things I found was this can, and you can't see. Ooh, what was that? What was that? I saw. I saw a thing. Hang on. What was that? I saw a UI element pop up. Just briefly. Anyway, it is Hexa Berry. <laughs> I don't know if that's a reference to one of the dev's friends or if it's a, um, if it's something to do with like, I don't know. It looks like it's something to do with a friend of the dev team. So, Austrian made Hexa Berry. If you know who this is, if you know who this is made for, let me know. Tag them in the comments. Let them know that, hey, I found us. <laughs> so let's move on. I'm going to turn that light back on. It's so bright. <laughs> it's so bright. But we need that brightness, and you'll see why here soon. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> so the first time I played, I got scared by that noise. Apparently it was just a door opening. <laughs> I'm dumb. Alright, so in this room, now that I have a, a light source <laughs> that I can actually see things, uh, it's not as scary as I thought it was. Uh, there is stuff in these. There's uh, a drum drumstick there and some books and stuff. Uh, I don't know if that's a reference to someone in particular. There's no name on this and, and there's no sticker on the inside, so who knows? Also, I missed this. I had no... In my first playthrough, I had no idea that this door was here. I didn't even look. I went right by it. But, our friendo is in there and we're gonna go say hi. Say hello to Yanitor. The janitor. He's a walrus type thing. I tried to get a look underneath the jacket, but there's not really anything there. Anyway, that's this room and that's the janitor. Let's move on. Uh, there's nothing on the back of the cookie box for like recipe or whatever. It's, it's just the same on the front as it is on the back. Also, if you're wondering where the tape is for in the waste area, it's up there. Um, 
I'm not going to show you how to get up there in this video. You can figure it out on your own. It's not hard. Don't take another step. Fred's not here. I sent him away. Oh, you did, did you? Where would you even send him in this town? I told you, he's not here. I don't believe you. I know he's here. You're a monster. So that scene, uh, there's not like effects or anything tied to the camera at a certain point in time. It's actually an AOE effect on like in that area that applies to the camera as the camera enters there. I'll show you what I mean. Watch what happens. Whoosh. It's just automatically applied to the camera as you enter this area, which is pretty cool. So there's a soccer ball. Um, I don't know what that is. It looks like a jacket of some kind, like a red jacket. Um, Los Angeles. So the map actually ends right behind there. Loading zone is the name of this area. I'll show you the outside of all of this here soon. This one, I believe, isn't an Easter egg. It's an actual, like, hint at the game loop. Only way in, your only way out is through this. The code I verified is different every time, so that randomizes. And there's something to do with this jukebox, but I'm not entirely sure what yet. I haven't figured it out. Collect our signature CDs. Now, I have found some CDs in the world. I just haven't found ones you can collect yet, so... It is just a demo, so I'm not sure if the CDs are even collectible yet. Anyway, moving on to an overview of this area, we have, if you go underneath, the floor, you can see up through it, and if I turn on the lighting effects, it's a bit more dramatic. And that is the whole loading zone, and when I say loading zone, I mean it is literally labeled as the loading zone. <laughs> Uh, and you can see pretty much the whole level. So that is a zoom out of the entire loading zone. That over there is labeled lobby. This little red part here is the bedroom area sticking out. Uh, and that door there is the loop. If you don't enter the code in the door, you loop back around to that and re-enter. Another thing I found floating out in the void here it's just a random locker door floating out in space, which I found interesting. Why would it be there? Who's it for? What's it meant for? Was it just a mistake? Who knows? Here I am. Hacking stuff again. There I am. All right. And if you look off way in the distance, that is our next thing. So when... Uh, Whoa, that is so bright. You get this code, 80, If you don't enter the code, like I was saying, you just whoop, pop right through again. If you do enter the code correctly, it pops you out here. So I am actually going to leave fret right here, go back through here. And this is the Presley wing. Welcome to the Presley wing. And you'll notice if I turn back around that segment way out there. I don't know if you can even see it on the recording. That is the loading zone and lobby. And this is the Presley wing. You'll notice there's some stuff floating out in nowhere land. We'll get to that. Um, there are a couple things on the outside of this that we should look at. Uh, there is the locked door that goes to home ec. So there's a second home ec right here. And I don't know why it's here, but it is. Another thing to note, and it's not something that people usually notice right off the bat, is that's the entrance there, and the exit is literally right next to it. <laughs> oh. oh, it's a Bye. pill. <laughs> I, uh, I broke the game. I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> this can't be happening. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so good. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting that. It's a, a live... Uh, it was a, a live reflection of the light pill. That was glorious. <sighs> anyway. One thing I need to point out is Krim, one of the moderators and artist for the the, uh, the game's team, pointed out that this particular drawing, this piece of artwork, has some of their personal friends in this picture. So that's really huge. I love that. That's really cool. And that picture is located on this shelf here. One of the things I was interested in seeing is if there's anything behind this cafeteria door with the meatball. If you fly through, there is just nothingness. There's not even like a model waiting for you. It's literally just nothingness. Yeah, it's just a black box. There's nothing in here. Uh, if I back out further, you'll see that it's literally just a black box. with the meatball uh, soup ladle hanging there. So my daughter is deaf uh, on her right side and nonverbal, including stuff like this that highlights the diversity of the gaming community and families in general is very welcomed. This is one of the ones that I've been waiting for. So one of my main drive of, of wanting to hack this game is I found a locked door. And I confirmed with developers in a roundabout way that there's no technical way in the demo to get in here. So we're just going to hack our way in like we usually do. Boop. This is home economics. Welcome. Here is the ingredients. Cream, butter, and sugar. Add wet ingredients. Add dry ingredients. Add chocolate chips. Four teaspoons chemical. I'm guessing that's what these are. And that makes a lot of stuff. Oh, look. Footprints. We're going to do a detailed look through this room real quick, and then we'll move on to other stuff. Uh, brown sugar doesn't usually come in a paper bag, so because it's a wet mix, technically. Flour. Here is some of the chemical. I don't know what chemicals they are, but there's chemical. Here's some of the forget-me-nots cookies. But there's this locked door back here that has nothing in it. <laughs> more cookies and some batter bowls a bunch of test beakers and graduated cylinders and flasks and stuff for science but uh, this is the home ec, which is basically the cookie factory for those forget me nots cookies I don't think there's anything really hidden per se in these in the bathrooms there's the that one that has the that one missing but tangled up and her hand is in the spot where she would have been scratching that number into the door so yeah that's a wee bit disturbing uh, so we've seen basically everything there is to see inside of the level. Uh, there are a few things that I will be coming back to look at later on. But now that we've seen just about everything we can inside of the map, let's head out of the map and see what the heck that is. So welcome to the Music Light Room. I don't know why it's called the music light, but it is. And this is what's in the room. You have whatever this trophy thing is called the founder's vision. I guess an empty shadow case and whatever this is. It looks like a helmet of some kind with the conduct tech logo on it. And like, I don't, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a connector or a weight or whatever on top. It's just interesting. It looks like a Lego piece, but an actual helmet at the same time. Interesting, weird, love it. Moving on. There's the box in the sky. 
this one this one's really cool you're gonna love it this box houses the missing that chases you and she's always making noise so take a good look at her this is probably the best look you're gonna get at this monster uh, you can see they have like button eyes and torn clothing and the sheet music like stitched over their head um, there's not really much to their player model but this is where they're kept when they're not chasing you and not being rendered into the scene for like messing around with you and stuff and this is the Presley wing this is the second segment of the uh, the demo where most of the gameplay takes place and while it doesn't look like there's a whole lot to it, it's actually pretty well in depth. It, it, there's a lot here. So this is the second segment and on to, if you can see that in the distance, that is the third segment. After you go through the red door and go to the nightmare area, that's the nightmare area. Now I have the arduous task of finding where the entrance is to the black. Yes. Okay. So this is the main entrance. Hang on. Now, when we're here, we can't really see uh, tape head. She hasn't loaded in yet. There's not anywhere that I've found that you can find her. But these renderings or these drawings, this artwork, the posters are freaking awesome. They're included in the game files. If you want to see them, just load up your game files. Hurdy Gurdy, who is actually bobbling his head always. And there are names on some of these placards and things. Let's check these out. Class of O2 fundraising, vibrant voices, variety, 1.07 million. Let's see. Class of O3 fundraising, chili crescendos, almost a million. Class of O3 fundraising, radiant rhythms recital, $723,785. So I'm wondering if those are like fundraising like placards I don't know if those are actually for the school or if it's something for the devs or whatever that's fine oh hey there's a, a thing for rocket in here yes she can hear you there's an arm here that's flip-flopping around that was the emergency medical stringer is broken in this haunting scene which is inaccessible to the player. Some amazing models. I love this whole scene. I hate it, but I love it. Uh, blank, 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 blank. There's this singular one, which I don't know if you can even see from anywhere, honestly. I don't think this particular model you can see from any playable area. That's interesting. Why are you special? Weird. And this is the full level for the third and nightmare area, which is pretty cool. So if there's any part of this that I you think I missed or you want a close up of something else in the game, let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. I have a whole playlist of other hacking stuff right up here, and I'll see you guys next time.